Namaskar and welcome to Mathematics Folio. I'm Hansa and in this video, I'm going to share with you all some tips, tricks and strategy that you should follow in this one month before writing your JE mains paper in January 23. Well, let me tell you, I'm not going to give you a shortcut to the success. Neither I'm going to give you some tablet to bring success to you. But yes, I'm going to share some ideas that will help you in building a proper strategy that will bring success to you. So stop reacting to the announcement that NTA has made regarding the dates of JE main session one in January 2023 and start responding to the situation with a proper plan in your head. So let me share with you how you can make a proper strategy for getting success in your JE main session one. So let's start. So what is the first thing that we can do or we should do? So first of all, sit quietly with a calm mind and divide your math syllabus into three parts. Strong, moderate and weak. Divide all the chapters into these three columns. For example, you can say that vectors, you feel that you're good at vectors, moderate and limit continuity, differentiability and you might be weak at some maybe uh, mean value theorem. So like this, all the chapters go, you divide into three portion. Now comes in the mind two questions, why we are doing this and secondly, how we are going to do this. So let me answer these two questions. First of all, why? Why we are doing these things? Actually, this is the time to make your stronger topic strongest. So we will be converting these strong topic to strongest topic and we will convert moderate topic to stronger. Weak topico, we will try to convert them to moderate topics. This categorization is actually going to help you when you will be writing down your test paper because it will tell you, okay, okay, if a question is from a weak topic and the calculation is going lengthy, let us skip the question and come back to it later. So this is how you can skip the lengthy question. You, can, you will be able to identify the question which are to be solved in the second round. Now the question comes in the mind is how we are going to make the stronger topic strongest and the moderate topic stronger. So the first thing that you have to do is revise your notes. Abhi revise your notes means it can also be the short notes that you have prepared. So revise your notes, revise your short notes. And after that, the most important thing, take previous J mains test papers. You can take it from 2019, 2020, 2021. And from the topics that you are preparing, select the question of those topics from these papers and try them just to evaluate yourself, okay? Okay, how much you are getting and uh, you think that you are strong at vectors, so whether actually you are strong at those chapters or not. If you feel that, no, some of the topics when you will be practicing the question, you will feel that, okay, okay this topic mein ye particular concept hai jiska Confusion may remind me abhi bhi hai. So just go to those topics and revise them. So this is how you are going to convert your topics from stronger to strongest, moderate to strong topic. And similarly, weak topic ke liye also we will be trying. But out of the 30 days, according to these categorization of the topics, we will divide the time as well. Okay, so this is the first point that you have to do. Now, what is the next point? Let us see. So the second point is self-analysis. What do you mean by self-analysis? Now let me explain it to you. So what you have to do is try to write at least two papers per week with proper time limit between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with actual exam condition. This will actually help in building up your exam temperament and which papers you can write. So you can take the papers from 2022 session two papers you can take or you can take session one papers. That's why in the point one, I told you that when you want to practice questions topic wise, take the questions from 19, 20 and 21 papers. Okay, 2022 papers we will keep aside for practicing as a test paper. What you can do is along with the prepare or writing the paper, you make a table like this. Why you have to make a table like this? Because just writing paper is not enough. Analyzing the errors that we are doing there in the test paper is also very important. How we are going to analyze it? So make a table like this. In the first column, you will write down the test paper date on which you are writing the paper. For example, 25th December, you're writing the paper. How many marks you obtained in that and the errors that you are doing. So this will make a record of the errors that you are doing. And this will also help you in identifying the direction in which you have to work. While analyzing, you will also come to know that are you doing any errors in the strong in the moderate topic? If you are doing any errors in the strong in the moderate topic means 
you just have to go and revise those concepts once again. In fact, revise the topics on the same day. Do not postpone it. Achha, along with this, always keep in mind that whenever you are writing the paper or you are practicing some questions, always keep it with a proper time limit. That means set a time limit. Set kar do. For example, one hour ke liye, we will be setting for practicing the question of mathematics. So complete one hour, mein, you have to practice a certain number of questions. Okay, why we are uh, uh, setting this time limit? Through this time limit, actually, we are training our brain to think with the time constraints. Okay, na? Jee, mains mein time constraints hote hai. They won't provide you the 24 hours to solve the question. Within three hours, you have to solve physics, chemistry, and maths all. So whenever you are practicing, always take a proper time limit and then solve the question. This will help in increasing your speed. Why? Because abhi time limit hai, you have to push your mind to think fast. You are developing a habit of your mind to think fast and to do the calculation with more accuracy. So that's why taking a proper time limit and solving the questions is very important to increase your speed, to increase your accuracy. Let us come to now the third point. So here comes the third point. Will sincerity, discipline always pays? They are never out of fashion. So whatever timetable you make for yourself, okay, whatever timetable you are making, timetable in the sense ki I told you that divide the chapters into three parts. So definitely you will be dividing them into days also. So whatever timetable that you have made for yourself, just stick to it. Please follow it with full dedication. It should not be like this, ki, okay, today I'm not feeling like Studying, so I will not study to. I will not study today. I'll study tomorrow. Stop this procrastination. Keep that spark ignited within you while you are preparing for JMEs. Okay, so discipline actually helps in increasing the probability of success. Keep this thing in mind, and it's very very important. Now let us see what is the next point. Uh, now see why I'm sharing this fourth point is actually I have seen many of my students who are very good at maths who are very good at different topics of mathematics they perform really well while preparation writing the paper but when they are about to write down the j mains that means obviously just a month ago or a month before writing down the paper they start feeling blank they start feeling that they have not studied at all they don't know anything so it is actually not so if you have worked hard if you have practiced something if you have spent time with the topic then definitely it is going to help you in writing down the test paper. So that's why I'm saying that have faith in yourself. See, you did not start preparing yesterday, right? Or after the announcement of the dates. So definitely you started long ago and you have practiced all these topics. So stop doubting yourself and have faith and confidence in yourself. Ki yes, what we have prepared definitely is going to help us. Right? We are not preparing for uh, like uh, J mains exam or J advanced exam ke if we are preparing. So definitely the questions are going to be from the portion that we have studied. Yeah, they are going to be a little twisted. Concepts are not going to be different. So all the concepts because you have studied. So just have faith. You read the question with a calm mind and definitely you will be getting the answer for the question. So that's why the fourth point is very important. I would just highlight have faith and confidence in yourself. Stop doubting yourself. So believe in the hard work that you have done for the past one year or two year or three year. So in this point, we have to discuss how to attempt paper. See, padhana is very important, but at the same time, how should we attempt the paper is also very important. Because if you paper ko sahi tarike se attempt the paper, then definitely your marks will increase. ठीक है तो मैं कुछ एक पॉइंट्स यहां पे डिस्कस कर रही हूं जो आप अपने माइंड में रखिए सबसे पहला पॉइंट है डोंट टेक प्रेशर ऑफ रिजल्ट दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एक्चुअली क्या होता है आई हैव सीन मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स जो बहुत अच्छा पढ़ते हैं मगर पेपर लिखते वक्त इतना टेंशन ले लेते हैं कि दे आर अनएबल टू परफॉर्म वेल दैट्स व्हाई व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज ऑलवेज राइट योर पेपर विद अ काम माइंड डोंट थिंक अबाउट द रिजल्ट डोंट टेक द प्रेशर ऑफ द रिजल्ट कि अरे मुझे रैंक 1 लाना है या फिर आई हैव टू गेट द रैंक 25 और अंडर 50 चाहिए ऐसा कुछ नहीं आपने जो पढ़ाई की है अब आपको अपना बेस्ट उस दिन देकर आना है। so what you should do is don't take pressure of the result. Instead, concentrate on the question that you are handling at that moment and give your best. Result will come as a byproduct. अपने आप result अच्छा आ जाएगा, ठीक है? ये सबसे important point है, इसे हमेशा दिमाग में रखिए। Second point is J means के लिए second point लिखा है मैंने कि always go for best possible options in J means. Sometimes हमें ऐसी situation face करनी पड़ती है कि चार ऑप्शंस हैं 
चारों में से एक भी आंसर नहीं मिल रहा है या मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट आंसर जो चार ऑप्शन है उनमें कोई भी नहीं दिखाई दे रहा है तो उस केस में आप क्या करो कि अपने क्वेश्चन को वापस रीड करो चारों ऑप्शन में से जो मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट ऑप्शन है आप उसे सिलेक्ट करो कौन से केस में जब आपको लगता है कि आपका आंसर गिवन ऑप्शन में नहीं है पहले आप अपनी कैलकुलेशन जरूर चेक करो कि कहीं आपने ही गलती ना की हो अगर कोई एरर नहीं है तो आउट ऑफ फोर ऑप्शन आपको क्या करना है मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट ऑप्शन को सिलेक्ट करना है कमिंग टू द थर्ड पॉइंट सिलेक्ट क्वेश्चन वाइजली बहुत तरीके से क्वेश्चन को सिलेक्ट करना चाहिए कोई भी क्वेश्चन जो इजी है पूरे टेस्ट पेपर में वो हमें लीव नहीं करना है अब इजी इज अ रिलेटिव टर्म यानी कोई क्वेश्चन मेरे लिए इजी मेरे फ्रेंड के लिए डिफिकल्ट हो सकता है तो आपको अपने फ्रेंड के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से नहीं सोचना है आप अपने हिसाब से सोचिए और देखिए एनी क्वेश्चन विच इज इजी इन द होल टेस्ट पेपर शुड नॉट बी लेफ्ट आउट क्यों क्योंकि नहीं तो बाद में हमें रिग्रेट होता है कि अरे इजी क्वेश्चन था मैंने किसी दूसरे क्वेश्चन में टाइम ज्यादा स्पेंड कर दिया और इजी क्वेश्चन मैंने लीव कर दिया सो वट यू हैव टू डू इज सेलेक्ट क्वेश्चन वाइजली नो इजी क्वेश्चन शुड बी लेफ्ट आउट एंड ऐसा कैसे हो सकता है कि यू डोंट हैव टू स्पेंड मोर टाइम ऑन लेंदी क्वेश्चन अब लेंदी मीन्स क्या कि सपोज uh, किसी वीक टॉपिक अब आपको पता है कि आपके वीक टॉपिक्स क्या है तो सपोज वीक टॉपिक में एक ऐसा क्वेश्चन आ गया इन विच द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट इज वेरी लेंदी सो यू लीव दैट क्वेश्चन कम बैक टू इट लेटर आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग द रिमेनिंग टेस्ट पेपर एंड ऑल द इजी क्वेश्चन और आई वुड से दैट ऑल द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर स्ट्रॉग एंड द मॉडरेट टॉपिक यू हैव कंप्लीटेड देन यू कैन कम बैक एनी टाइम टू दिस क्वेश्चन एंड ट्राई इट वंस मोर सो so, ये आपको प्रॉपरली सोच के चलना होगा कि हम पेपर में अटेम्प्ट करते वक्त इमोशनल ना हो किसी एक क्वेश्चन के साथ आपको बहुत ज्यादा टाइम स्पेंड नहीं करना है इफ यू फील कि वो बहुत ज्यादा लेंदी जा रहा है यू स्किप दैट एंड कम बैक टू इट लेटर राइट लेट इज कम टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट नाउ सो ये अब लास्ट पॉइंट है जो मैं आपके साथ डिस्कस करूंगी और ये पॉइंट है हाउ वी कैन हेल्प यू ठीक है तो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ लेटर अनाउंसमेंट अबाउट आर न्यू सीरीज दैट इज गोइंग टू बी लॉन्च इन यूट्यूब सून एंड द नेम ऑफ द सीरीज विल बी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट जे मेन्स पी वाई क्यू सीरीज अब इस सीरीज में होगा क्या यू विल फाइंड दैट वी आर टेकिंग द मोस्ट रोबाबल एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ईयर जे मेन्स टेस्ट पेपर्स ठीक है उन क्वेश्चंस के थ्रू वी विल आल्सो बी रिवाइजिंग सम इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट सो ओवरऑल यू विल सी दैट अ कंप्लीट पैकेज यू विल बी गेटिंग इन विच ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस जिनका कॉन्सेप्ट मैक्सिमम रिपीट होता है अलोंग विद द कॉन्सेप्ट रिविजन यू विल बी गेटिंग सो डू वॉच इट डोंट फॉर गेट टू वॉच दिस सीरीज इट इज गोइंग टू बी रियली बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू पीपल अच्छा अलॉन्ग विद दिस वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू फॉर यूएस वी विल ऑल्सो पोस्ट सम इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स चैप्टर वाइज सो दैट यू कैन रिवाइज दोज टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम द चैप्टर विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट for your convenience okay so i'll be posting that list also for your convenience in the community post so do check that also along with that mujhe ek cheez aur aapse discuss karni hai aur wo ye wala point hai ki koi bhi je mains ka jo topic aapko dikhta hai theek hai abhi je mains ka topic to main isse ab nahi bolungi kyunki statistics relation ye sab to ab advanced mein bhi hai okay magar fir bhi ye jo topics hain logic statistics relation sets etc in sare topics ko you have to prepare very perfectly kyunki in topics se definitely थ्री टू फाइव क्वेश्चन एवरी ईयर जे मेन्स में पूछे जाते हैं क्वेश्चन बहुत ज्यादा लेंदी नहीं होते हैं सोल्वेबल होते हैं तो हमें इन टॉपिक से पूछे गए सारे क्वेश्चन में मार्क्स को ग्रैब करना है तो एक लाइन में मैं ये बोल सकती हूँ कि डोंट फॉरगेट टू ग्रैब मार्क्स इन दीज मेन्स टॉपिक्स ओके सो लेट इज ब्रिंग एन एंड टू दीडियो हियर ऑल द बेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू वर्क हार्ड हैव कॉन्फिडेंस इन योर सेल्फ डू नॉट वेस्ट टाइम एंड द सक्सेस विल बी योर Thank you all of you and bye bye